Welcome to Walking Rounds with Dr. Matt. Even though we're currently closed to the public, our around-the-clock care for the animals continues. One of my favorite things to do at the aquarium is to walk around first thing in the morning to check in on current cases as well as interact with the public at the same time. Unfortunately, since we're closed, all of you can't come visit us here and see some of these amazing animals, so we thought, why not bring the animals to you? The case today that I'm going to talk about is one of our two fly river turtles that live here at the aquarium. The one behind me is named Goose. We have Goose and Maverick, two aptly named Top Gun characters, for how they fly through the water. Goose actually came to us about 17 years ago as an illegal confiscation as part of the wildlife trade. The wildlife trade is particularly timely and in the news because unfortunately, with the trades of a lot of these exact species, that can help select for the emergence of zoonotic diseases like COVID-19. Shed Aquarium helps combat the wildlife trade by not only providing forever homes for some of the animals that are confiscated, but also sending teams into the field to help other animals in need, such as when we sent myself and another veterinary technician out to Madagascar to help with radiated tortoises when 10,000 of them were confiscated from the legal pet trade. Fly River turtles get their name from where they're found in Papua New Guinea, which is the Fly River sort of delta area. Another common name, as you'll see once he swims back around, is the pig nose turtle. So they actually get this name, as you can tell, from their unique nose, which allows them to take a breath at the surface of the water without totally coming out. So it's kind of like having a little snorkel on the tip of their nose that they can go to the surface, take a little breath, and come back down. You also see they're the only freshwater species of turtles that have flippers. If you watch as he kind of swims around, he'll use those front flippers as kind of locomotion to move him around, and his back flippers are more as rudders to help him steer. He also has that kind of soft coating on his shell, which is different from some more harder shell turtle species. These guys are omnivores, so not only will they eat the plant material you can see in his habitat, but also crustaceans and other invertebrates in the wild. The males don't get as big as the females just because they don't have to hold eggs in there. I mentioned the two we have are both males. You can usually tell that by the length and the width of their tail base. The other kind of cool thing with this species that we wouldn't have learned without housing them in aquarium and zoo settings is their reproductive cycle. So in the wild, the only time the species really leaves the water is when females go to nest, very much like sea turtles in the ocean. The females will find these sort of sand banks in the wild, crawl up them and nest, and then the seasonal rains will kind of come and flood those nests, and that's when the babies hatch. We didn't learn this until housing them in aquariums and zoos, and at first we had a lot of difficulties hatching these eggs until basically by mistake someone spilled a little bit of water on some of the eggs and they instantly started hatching. They think the reason they evolved to do that is they wait for these kind of rainy monsoon seasons to flood these nests so that all the eggs hatch at the same time to reduce the chances that they're gonna get eaten by predators. Again, very similar to sea turtles. They can kind of go into what's known as a diapause in the eggs for up to 50 days before they can hatch. So they'll stop growing and basically sit in there and wait for these rains to come since it might not always rain the same time of year. If you want to know kind of what's involved for a health exam for one of these turtles, you can actually check out some of our older Facebook Live videos. They're on our website. We did do an exam on one of these Fly River turtles that you can go check out. We'll be bringing you other cases um, that you can kind of follow and get to know as we continue walking around with Dr. Matt throughout the aquarium. Thank you.